Hi everyone, my name is Danny and in today's video I'm going to start a new series talking about Google Tag Manager. So it's going to be broken down today's episode into four parts. What is Google Tag Manager? Who is the target audience who needs to use it? Why do you need to use Google Tag Manager and how to use Google Tag Manager? So starting off with what is Google Tag Manager? Well, it's a free tool by Google, just like many of the free tools that Google provides for web designers and developers and people who are into website uh, implementations. Also, it's a tool that is used to inject or insert tracking and conversion code into your web pages. You do that externally without uh, modifying your existing code. And finally, it, inclu it includes a set of pre-baked custom code from third-party companies that integrate very well with your pages, such as DoubleClick, for example. So you don't need to worry about the code that needs to go there. You can simply integrate it using Google Tag Manager. Now, who needs to use Google Tag Manager? According to Google, well, marketers around the world can make use of this, uh, of this great tool. And in my opinion, web designers and developers are also one of the audience for this great tool. In addition, if you have uh, a task on you, which is like you're into data analysis, you're a data scientist, for example, then Google Tag Manager is a great tool because it allows you to focus on data while not worrying too much about uh, in uh, integrating the code, uh, the tracking code or the conversion code into your pages. And finally, if you're a content owner, you own a blog or a page and you don't need to worry about how to add tracking code, then Google Tag Manager is for you. Next, uh, next stop is, why do we need it? Well, in addition to all the things that we just talked about, it's easy to use, just like most of Google uh, platforms. It's very easy to use, and second, it allows you to bypass your developers and bypass the coding structure. You can directly inject code, tracking code specifically, uh, into your pages without going through any design or development. And also, uh, what's great about it, it's centrally hosted on Google servers, so it allows you to get more uh, uh, reliability because you're not relying on so many different third-party platforms. All the code is in one place, hosted on fast servers by Google, that's a very great plus. And also, all your code, tracking code and conversion code is organized in one place. So you can get to it anytime and simply make changes in one place. And finally, what I love about it, the ability to have version control publishing. So you can backtrack and go back in time to a certain um, uh, implementation uh, without having to worry about backup. It's really a great tool. Now, how do we implement Google Tag Manager? This is gonna be the next part of a series of videos which I will walk you through one video at a time, one implementation using Google Tag Manager at a time. So we'll do different magic tricks for your web page to track different things using Google Tag Manager. Obviously, you can do it through code, but Google Tag Manager gives you more power, control, and ease. And that's why we're going to use it um, in the series of videos. Now, there are four parts that you need to understand while working with Google Tag Manager. And I will walk you through these parts as we navigate the Google Tag Manager dashboard. But just to name them, basically, we have the tags, we have triggers, we have something called variables, and we have also something what Google calls folders, but in my opinion, it should be called objects. And we will talk about this in more detail. So let's dive in right now to the dashboard that you would see when you sign up with Google Tag Manager. There you go. I'm going to Google Tag Manager right now, and I'm going to sign in 
And as you can see, I have an implementation of few websites. New soon is the one that we need to uh, see right here. And we have tags, triggers, variables, and folders. As we talked about, tags is basically the place where you will have your code, whether it's CSS, JavaScript, HTML, or even any tracking code that you can get from another third-party website and that you need to add into your homepage, this is where you will create it. We'll see videos of samples in, in, a, in the next videos. Triggers are basically what starts or what initiates uh, a tag. For instance, uh, you might not want to fire all your tags uh, or you, you probably don't want to fire a tag on all your pages. You might want to be very specific about firing it on a thank you page, for example, or on a form uh, submit page. Depending on where you want to fire uh, or start those tags, you need to structure your tr triggers around it and triggers is what calls a tag and makes it happen and we will be discussing triggers in detail in uh, the upcoming videos variables are basically very important because they can make our life simple and organized i would like to use variables as much as i can so for instance i have my uh, google analytics um, uh, tracking code or tracking ID which I have implemented as a variable and whenever I need to call it in uh, Google Tag Manager I basically reference the variable instead of the actual uh, number or the actual ID and we're gonna see that implementation soon and finally folders folders are basically all the different things that we just talked about tags variables and triggers Google likes to call them folders. In my opinion, they should have called them objects because that would make more sense. Folders just kind of make things a little bit confusing for, for me and I'm sure for many others. But just know, folders is basically everything combined together. If you want to have a view of your tags and triggers and variables combined together, that's where you need to go. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't really like to go there, but it's there for those who want to make use of it. This concludes today's video, first video of Google Tag Manager, the very, very basics. And in the next videos, there's going to be a series of around 10 to 15 videos specific to Google Tag Manager, how to. So how do you add Google Analytics code or how do you add Google uh, uh, conversion uh, code into or AdWords conversion IDs into uh, Google Tag Manager and a lot of great tricks that you will definitely enjoy. So let's get to the next videos and see you soon.